Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Just want to say Happy New Year to you all and I hope you've had a very safe and happy Christmas. Um, today I'm sharing with you Kit 40 from Tonic Studios and for anyone that hasn't been to my channel before my name is Victoria Diel and I'm part of Tonic Studios design team here in the UK. I'm going to share with you what's in the contents of the kit and all the links and descriptions and everything will be below um, and why not subscribe to my channel if you fancy uh, being notified of any further videos in the future then just click that subscribe button and you'll get notified of any new videos so without further ado we shall open the box and obviously it comes to you well presented in this box and there's the contents. So I'm going to take the contents out and then I can share with you all what's actually in your kit. So, there we go. Take everything out. Right. So, the kit is called the Pivot Gift Box. So, in this kit, we have this beautiful opera red mirror card um you know and that's very reflective there it's a4 we've also got the opera red well, that was the opera red i should say we've also got the red berries which is the hand cotton paper and that's 150 gsm and as you can see it has a a, a twinkly sparkle in there that's also a4 We've then got the Maroon Red Craft Perfect, which is Tonic's card, and it has a slight textured weave to the card. It's 216 GSM, and that's also A4. We then go on to the Glazed Chestnut Pearlescent card, also A4, and that's 250 GSM. It's got that beautiful sheen, and it's also double-sided. Then we've got uh, the Umber Etching Speciality Card, and it's the Luxury Embossed Card. It's 230 GSM, and you can see that beautiful embossed design there, also A4. That's 230 GSM as well. Then we have the Pewter Grey Craft Perfect with that slight textured weave in there and that's also 216 GSM. We've then got the Black Velvet Satin Mirror Card uh, and that's also A4. And then last but not least we get a sheet of A4 Smooth 300 GSM Black Card. So this is great for your card bases and also large construction projects especially your memory books, a fabulous card for memory books. So, without further ado, we'll go on to the Nouveau products. And we've got here the Nouveau Glimmer Paste in that gorgeous cocoa, rich cocoa. So you've got a jar of that. So you see the sparkle there. We've also got the Nouveau Ruby Red Pure Sheen Glitter. And that's a 25ml pot, so that sparkle there. Very rich colours in this kit this time. Then we've got, ooh, throwing it away. Then we've got the Nouveau Stone Drops. And um, that's a, a fiery volcano. And this is the, the Stone Drops. They've got like a little bit of grit in there, like sand. So if you've not used those before. We've also got the Pewter Grey Striped Baker's Twine. So you've got a good roll there, 25 metres. And then we've got this beautiful uh, Mica Mist Spray. And I've got to say, this does shimmer. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's called Crimson Velvet. And you can see there the, the Mica and the shimmer in there. So that's really nice. And then we're going to head over. So... We'll move that out of the way. We're going to head over now to the die set. Now, your die set will come in here and it will come on 
acetate i've put mine on a magnetic sheet because i've been using it yours however will not come on the magnetic sheet it will atta be attached to um acetate so i've got them double-sided here so we have the pivot gift box so the pivot gift box will look like this one here and it's a gorgeous box with beautiful decorative panels you get little corners here so they're like little feet or protectors for the corner of your boxes if you cut these down i think you're going to be able to use these in your memory book um well your memory books and all your photo mats and things these would be fabulous corners for those and you've got a little faux lock here at the front and we've just hung the little tag with the baker's twine at the front all paper pieced all decorative elements there and inside this one we've actually done some little gift cards so there's the inside of the box so here we've done a little gift card we've used one of the stamps which i'll show you in a moment from the set we've also used this decorative panel from the box so and then we've mica misted the the background with that gorgeous volcano spray so we've put that in the background of the card here there's another little card and we've used the stamp again and then we've used some of the beautiful card that is in the uh, craft kit. So that's another one. Uh, again, similar to the first one with a different sentiment. And then the last one, we've used one of the sentiments from the set. We've used the stone drops here and then we've used that pewter grey craft perfect and then that beautiful red mirror card. So I think that would be a beautiful gift to give to somebody, give them some little notelets to send to their friends, just for maybe half the beginning of the year or whatever. But I think that, you know, would be a beautiful little set to give to a friend. Of course, you can put your chocolates and everything else in there as well. But I just thought that'd be a little, something a little bit different. And it's sent with love. Um, you've got beautiful decorative elements on the side of the box, the back of the box, so it's all decorated and even the top of the box here. So, to make this box you will need, let me move that tape out of the way, you're going to need to cut two of these, okay? You're then going to have to cut two of these which forms the bottom and the lid. So you need two of those. You've got your decorative panels here for the top, the front and the bottom. Also some extra sentiments here. Verso edge, so you've got backing plate here. So if you didn't want to use the decorative elements to the set, you can cut your pattern papers out with this die. Same with the lid. And then this little die here creates the corners. Now I'll show you these now. It cuts it out like that. You have a little glue tab and you crease them here and here. And this forms the decorative corner that you're going to put on your box. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. I'm going to flip it over. Here you have the side panels to your box. So you're going to actually need to cut two of this one and two of this one because you've a left and a right. So two of each of those. Then obviously you've got your decorative panels and they've also got that verso edge. You can cut your pattern paper out of the side panels as well if you don't want to use the decorative edges. You've also got this side decorative panel here. Again, verso die. So, it, you know, you can go pattern papers all the way if you didn't want to use the, the panels or you didn't want to paper piece. So these are these panels here on the box. And then this die here is your, your decorative tag and you've got various sentiments there to put inside the tag. 
I've also got a little backing plate there so again verso edges all the way and then you've got this little decorative lock and I've got one cut out here somewhere so I will just share that with you hang on there we go so obviously this die here cuts this one this die cuts this one here and then that one will slot through from the back and then I'd put adhesive here and then you can hang your tag off the front as we've done here on this box so a lovely little faux lock there so I think that's all the dies run through so we'll just put that to one side and then we have the stamps so I'm hoping the camera catches these without too much of a glare uh, we have just to say uh, from me to you a little something you might like and it's all yours and then you've got these beautiful decorative dies here so I hope there's not too much glare for you to pick that up there so a fabulous set all round so I'm going to place all these to one side I'm going to bring in um, some other boxes that I've created and then we will put one together and then you can see how it's constructed so as I've already shown you this is how the box is made and any of you that know me know I love 3D and I love nothing better than to change it about a bit so we've got that one so I decided to use the uh, chestnut pearlescent card and that beautiful um, luxury umber etching speciality card here and all we've done is we've extended it so we've cut two of these boxes out and just slightly overlapped them so that you get in that elongated box and we've hung a little tag from the front um, and it says a gift for you with a little love heart there and then to hide the join we've actually put the pearlescent card over the top and then we've placed this ribbon across decorative ribbon and bow so i think this box would be lovely with some rolled up paper and a pen and some little envelopes so that would also be a nice little notelet set but again you could put a bottle of perfume or somebody's favorite hand cream in there it'd be a beautiful gift so that's one idea and then you know me I don't stop there I've made another box so this box I think it measures let me just check I think it was three and a half inches yes so it's three and a half inches square this box so we we've cut four of the side panels and the lids and we've we've snipped here and there with the scissors um and we've made this beautiful i mean you get such a lovely gift in there you know it could be anything there from a bath bomb imagine giving that to a gift a gift with tissue paper and a lovely bath bomb inside and we've just left the panels quite plain we've gone a bit monochrome with this one black and white with that gorgeous uh, beautiful handcrafted cotton papers there with a bit of a twinkle and then we've put some of the corners on the bottom for legs and then the lid we've stamped with that gorgeous stamp that's in the set so you've got this lovely stamp here and we've stamped on all four corners and then we've cut a decorative tag out and added some baker's twine so there's three boxes from the one set of dies so don't think you know oh is that all i can make no you can do this you can do this you could probably do this and do this elongated you know there's lots of different things that you can do i think really the the game is to to snip things out and at the end of the day if it doesn't work it's just a piece of card and you just start again so anyway with that done we'll put these to one side and we'll put one together so let's put this away there we go 
and I've got some elements already cut together and some stuck together so we'll go from there so as I said before we're going to need two of these panels and I've already put adhesive red liner red liner or glue or red liner and glue are ideal for 3D. I would never ever put a 3D project together with a tape runner. It doesn't have the longevity. And of course, when you've sent this to somebody, they're probably a non-crafter, so wouldn't quite know how it went back together again. And you don't want it falling apart when it's gone to the person you sent it to. So I think red liner tape and glue, or red liner tape, or just glue on its own, it's up to you. So, two of those panels, and we want two of these panels, okay? So we're going to construct that part. You're also going to need, what I said before, two of the same. So we've got two of those, two of those, and we've already put red liner on these as well. So, without further ado, we'll get the two straight panels. And make sure that you've gone over all your score lines with a bone folder to, you know, so it all goes together really well. I've already done that to save on time. So I'm just going to do the, stick those together. There we go. And then remove the tape from here. And then down. This just makes like a cube. So I'm going to go on the inside just to check that it is stuck down. There we go. There we go. So there we've just created a sleeve. It's like you would have a drawer. And that would be ideal if you did an inner box. There's, a, there's your drawer mechanism. So really that box that I showed you before could be a box with a drawer. It could be a set of drawers. It could be a set of drawers with the legs. You, you, your mind will go haywire, mine does, uh, every time we're 3D. So anyway, there's your, your cube. So, this box has a short edge, a very long edge, and a very long edge. So you just need to work out which way it goes. And as you can see, that doesn't fit. But this one, with the short edge to the short edge, will fit in there just perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get that stuck down. So let's remove all the tape. I, I mostly put, as you know, those of you that, that are used to my channel and, and come and say hello, are used to me using wet glue. I am a wet glue girl. But just for this video, I've gone ahead with the uh, red liner because you don't want to see me holding things so just go over that and you can go inside and just make sure that it is all glued down so that's one side in there so we want the other side so we know we need a short edge to the short edge so that will be that one so we will take the red liner off here off there and then we're going to push that in the bottom like that push him to fit in the back and then push that in there there we go and again just make sure it's stuck on the inside. So you've got like um, a little little tray there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the other one just the same way. So again, we're going to take this red liner off. There we go. And take this red liner off here. Fold that in so it's flush with the bottom 
and then flush with the sides and flush with the back. There we go. So we do the do the other side again. Let's move this red liner. Gets everywhere this red liner tape, doesn't it? There we go. And let's remove the tape from there. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. And again, make sure that's flush with the bottom. Tuck in the back. So it's all neat. And then tuck in the front. And then stick that down. So now you have a top and a bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put adhesive just inside this bottom here. So again, as you all know, the only glue for me is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And I'm just going to put a generous helping, not, not to be seeping out, but just enough for it all to grab. And we're just going to put that in there, just at the sides. There we go. And then this will slot inside. A lovely finish. And then just tap the sides and the bottom. And with the deluxe, it will be um, dry in no time. Don't worry if you get a little bit seep out anywhere. It will dry clear, but you can just remove it with your hand. And that is your base of your box. Now, as you've got a shallow bottom here, this is going to be the front of the box. We want a deeper lid. So, that just fits over the top. And that's your front and that's your back. And we're just ready to decorate the box now. So, we've got all these bits that we've done earlier. Now, right, let's have a look. We've got our front panel, okay? So I'm going to glue the back panel so that we've got them all done. And I am going to put adhesive on my hand. Now, for anyone that has allergies or doesn't want to put the glue on the back of the hand, you can wrap a poly pocket bag, plastic bag, to the side of your glass mat and apply the glue to that and then pick the glue up from there. Or you can get a fine tip applicator. This is quite fine actually on the, on the deluxe and just add glue to the back of your die cut. Um, but this is my preferred um, way of doing it. So we can add a little bit more glue to my hand so I can pick it up with this panel and then place that down there there we go and then we want to do this one and this panel is for the bottom of the box here so again we'll add we just have enough adhesive on my hand for that one so we'll put that down there. There we go. And then we've got some side panels. That's the base. And then we've got the tag, haven't we? Right, okay. So we'll add adhesive to the back of there. And add that to the panel now like I say you could um, paper piece these flowers if you wanted to so we'll add that there and then we've got a side panel here that we've cut in the grey and white so again, add the adhesive to the back and place that down. And 
and then we've got a little tag so we've got the with love backing plate in white so we'll pick the glue up there and place that down on the backing plate there we go and we don't need that one and we're going to add that to the gift tag remove this glue from the back of my hand otherwise we'll be in a bit of a pickle there we go and then this is the little foot so you'll see it's got little score lines here so they just need bending back just with your fingers you don't really need a you know a bone folder or anything like that and then fold that back fold that back and then you've got a little glue tab so just fold the glue tab back apply a little adhesive there and then fold it over and just hold it for a couple of seconds until you know it's grabbed there we go and then whilst that's drying we'll place some of the panels on to the box so wet adhesive on the back of the panels I hope the camera isn't juggling around too much there we go so place that down there and then we want the bottom strip adhesive there and again just make sure that's in place before we move on to the next side and then we'll decorate the back so again wet adhesive on the back Any little bits of adhesive you can either remove but it, it will dry so don't worry about it and then some adhesive here to the side panels so again all wet glue place this down the bottom get that straight there we go and then one for the lid And if you see the panels lift in a minute, just hold them till they've grabbed because they only take a few seconds. But sometimes if you've been a bit quick. There we go. Just hold them for a few seconds. There we go. And then we'll do the panel top and bottom here. So I'm hoping you've all had an enjoyable Christmas and New Year. I know things are a bit strange this year for us all, but um, I'm hoping you've made the best of the holiday season and had some time off to enjoy maybe your hobbies or just some time with your nearest and dearest in your own bubbles. We had a very quiet Christmas here, just hubby and I, and the dog. And I've got to say, it was a different Christmas. I did miss 
my mum coming. My mum normally comes on Christmas Day. And of course we've missed her very much. But we've all got to stay safe. So, this panel will fit in this centre part. And again, you can paper piece these panels if you wanted to. So, that's slotted in there. And again, just hold them. There we go. And then we'll put this one in. There's some beautiful little heart details in this side panel. There's one there and one at the bottom. Um, I think they had a lot lovely paper pieced with a red card. You see little hearts there. So. And then we've got a decorative top. So we'll put the top on. There we go. And we'll place that one there. That's it. Excess glue there, that's it. And then for this one, we're going to add some baker's twine if I can remember where I put it. There we go. So you've got this lovely uh, baker's twine in your kit. Take the label off, and you just want a length of this to thread through our tag so we're going to double it over push it through the hole and then bring the tails back up through the loop and then we'll snip those off I'm going to put a foam pad on the back and then I'm going to decorate the lid with the tag so I'm actually going to put the tag on the lid there and then I'm going to make a little bow so I'll move all my rubbish away I'm not looking at that there we go and then I'm just going to switch my hot glue gun on because I'm going to make a little decorative bow there we go not too big a bow only a tiny one and then I'm going to trim the tails off because I don't want them quite that quite that long there we go and then I'm just going to put a little bit just be, be very careful if you're using a hot glue gun guys because they do get very very hot I'm just putting a tiny little blob on the back of the bow there and I'm just going to place that onto the top of my tag just there so you've got a nice little bow there and just let that dry a moment so then we've got last but not least we've got these lovely little legs that we've made and they're just going to go on the corners like so. So they're going to be, make sure that they're nice and flush when you glue them. So we're going to put quite a decent helping, not enough where it's all seeping out, but you want quite a, a decent amount of glue there for it to, to grab a hold. So I'm going to put this one on here and just hold it just for a couple of seconds. And you will need to hold it so that it is flush with the box, okay? So you can take the lid off the box if it's easier for you to hold. So that's one. And um, we'll put another one on. There we go. Put one on the back. Again, just hold it. So you know it's grabbed. There we go. 
and then we'll put one on the other side. It's absolutely amazing glue this, if you've never tried it, give it a go, if it's in stock, give it a go. I can honestly say you'll never go back to another glue after if you've used a deluxe. As I always say in my videos, and I know probably some go, oh of course, the best glue in the world. It really is. To me it is. I'd be lost without it. When it's not in stock, it's um, tear tantrums. So... Hold that there. See how it's important to hold them till they're flush because you've got a flush line then, you see. So we're going to add them to the feet. There we go. So one to the bottom. And then the opposite side. The last two legs remaining, well they're either legs or they're just decorative corners, whichever way you want to look at it, I think they do protect the corners of the box as well. But I can see if you snip away at these, that would make a fabulous photo corner for a memory book. And talking about memory books, I was in a conversation with the lovely Jennifer Cray, who's also on the Tonic DT, many of you know our gem. And we were having a little conflab um, about the set when we got it and what we were going to do. And we both thought that this guy, you could make a little memory book from these dies with decorative flaps so I don't see this die set just as a box I could see a memory book within this set so just an idea there and you could also make it a, a mini a mini uh, memory book to put inside this box and that would be lovely as well so there you have a beautiful box not paper piece just showing the beautiful detail panels the lid lifts off you then have one paper pieced so putting all the pieces back in and making a pattern and then we've used the mirror card there for the decorative purposes and the lock and the tag so two boxes of the same size but completely different you've then got the elongated box making two and attaching them together and then you've got the three and a half inch square box from the same set so I think you know it's not just this box it's this box it's this box and as we've said it could be a memory book um i think it's just limited by your imagination and i think once you get going with this set i really think you're just going to be away um so i just want to say thank you so much for joining me today for kit 40 the pivot box and I'm really looking forward to sharing more kits with you, designers' choices with you and showcases with you this next coming year. And if you want to be alerted to any future videos from myself, please hit the subscribe button um, and then you won't miss anything. Uh, later on in the year, I will be giving away giveaways um, when we reach certain goals. 
so um, please stay tuned for those and I will put all my links in the description for where you can purchase the kit uh, if you want to subscribe to the kits or if you want a one-off purchase to the kit all the, um, the links will be there they are affiliated links and I do make a small commission on each kit that I sell but it doesn't add anything extra to you whatsoever um, you just pay for your subscription and your or, or a one-off kit, whichever you decide. So thanks ever so much for joining me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. And I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.